Hi YouTube viewers, welcome to my second vlog. Um, today is Friday, August 19th. Um, it's almost, uh, let's see, uh, midnight in the Netherlands while I'm recording this video. Um, I was recording a video earlier today but something came up in between and well, I just got home and I thought let's try to make this vlog today so that it won't be postponed till Saturday and I have another one on you for Saturday. Um, first off I want to thank everyone for the great positive feedback and comments on my first vlog from Monday. Um, that was really awesome, great, super geweldig. Um, I want to give a shout out to Cliff Sol, Kylie Martin Ron, Resequencer, Kalinsi, Yu Ari, Lemon Pie LOL, PSP Heaven and everyone else that commented and gave thumbs up, that was really great. Um, I know I promised to uh, put uh, a vlog every day online since Monday but on Tuesday I was uh, on the road and forgot my uh, camera on Wednesday I was sick um, and didn't feel like recording a vlog and yesterday I was working on a vlog but it was really late and it was about the same time that I'm recording this one but uh, I thought well once it's online it will be uh, Friday morning so let's make it Friday so this means that I don't have one, two, but three recommendations for you in this video. Uh, let's start off with the first one. Uh, the first recommendation is a presentation uh, from the DeepSec 2010 um, conference. It's called Malware Goes to the Movies, a presentation given by Alexander Jampolsky. It shows some good examples on how one can add a virus or malicious code to a video file, such as an ASF file because of the file structure. Uh, another uh, example he gives in his presentation is about the misuse or the of DRM protected content to let a user visit a malicious website when DRM restrictions are checked um, for a file. So for example if you play DRM protected content with Windows Media Player and Windows Media Player is uh, going to check the restrictions for that file on an external website. It's possible for an attacker to exploit the request sent by the Windows Media Player um, by responding with a malicious website or to um, uh, let a user view, uh, let give a user a pop up box. Uh, and ask for cr uh, credentials of the system to uh, play the video um, by this way you can compromise a computer uh, the second video I have for you um, is uh, one from David Kennedy at the Noticon 8 conference called strategic penetration testing changing the way we hack David Kennedy is mostly known for the social engineering toolkit also known as SAT well, in this presentation, he begins explaining why it's necessary to start strategically attacking an organization and how, uh, in this perspective, uh, a pen test uh, should be done. He makes a point about not only pen testing via the risk assessment method methodology. Sorry for my English, but I'm Dutch, so <laughs> please bear with me. Um, but to use a practical point of view, to cover all the assets of the company. He also mentions he and some other uh, security uh, professionals are working on an international standard for pen testing. If you want to know more about that, please check that video. Of course, uh, he shows a demo of the latest version of the social engineering toolkit. Um, in this demo, he shows it's possible to hack a fully patched Windows 7 system. Um, and doing, the, doing things to it uh, that a user can't see, such as installing a keylogger and uh, locking a screen and that a user is, um, and needs, uh, is necessary to, for a user to, um, uh, sorry, it's necessary for a user to uh, give his uh, password uh, to work uh, on the system again um, and with the keylogger installed you can uh, see what what he uh, typed in his password so I thought that's really scary stuff because uh, a lot of it, it goes on under the radar and at this point virus uh, um, it's not um, detected by virus uh, 
scanner. Um, so check really check that uh, the demonstration out. Uh, last recommendation I have for you is the Black Hat USA 2011 playlist. Maybe some of you already noticed uh, the Black Hat organization released uh, three presentations during this week from the conference held earlier this month. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't have time uh, to check out the videos for myself, but um, Black Hat presentations are almost uh, never disappointing. So um, you can view them and let me know what you think about them. Presentations that are released are How a Hacker Has Helped Influence the Government and Vice Versa, given by Peter Zetko. Uh, the second one is called Faces of Facebook or How uh, the Largest Real ID Database in the World Came to Be. This presentation is given by Alessandro Acquisti. And uh, the last presentation that they put online is called SSL and the Future of, the, uh, of Authenticity. And this uh, presentation is given by Moxie Marlinspike. Um, before, I, before I forget, uh, I will make uh, clickable boxes again. That will take you to the recommendations I uh, gave in this video. So I will create a box um, right here, I think. I hope this can be shown on the video. Uh, with the DeepSec 2010 presentation, Molder goes to the movies. Uh, a box right here. Uh, on the left side, on the other side, I don't know if it's right or left, but uh, if you click here, it will be the strategic pen testing presentation given by David Kennedy. Uh, and the last box, I, th I hope, uh, this can, I think, here. I think. Uh, um, if you click on this box, um, ooh, then uh, um, then it will take you to the Black Hat 2011 USA playlist. So that are the recommendations for today. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you think about the recommendations and this vlog. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't think uh, I should uh, continue this. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you again tomorrow.